I'm gonna show you why these keto salted caramel bars are so clever. Let's go. I've been suffering with a little bit of brain fog lately. I've been feeling weak and just low energy in general. And in my fogginess, I realized I'm low in electrolytes. If you have any of these symptoms, you may need more electrolytes in your diet. So I've been literally eating a pinch of salt and the bad taste got me thinking, there's gotta be a better way. And hence, I created this recipe. Hello, I'm Mel and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, take a look around at our other recipes and if you love what you see, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new recipe. Did you know that Himalayan salt can help with muscle cramps, headaches and can boost your potassium calcium and magnesium levels and it has other nutrients too like trace amounts of iron. In this recipe you will see me use generous amounts of salt because the goal is to find a better way to ingest pink salt for electrolytes. Not really the treat if you know what I mean. Let's get into the recipe now. Over a medium to low heat add 113 grams of butter and let that simmer while stirring continuously. It will come to a boil and bubble then turn down the heat to low. Continue stirring and the butter will change color to amber. If you have grainy in the butter, you can strain it to remove that. We need to add sweetener next. I'm using Natvia sweetener because with the rock salt, it's not going to matter if your caramel bars are grainy. You can use any sweetener you prefer, but with allulose and xylitol, you will get the smoothest caramel. Okay, add one cup or 200 grams of sweetener and continue stirring. As the sweetener heats up, it will melt and become liquid like this. And here is the color we have a beautiful amber. When your caramel mixture reaches 275 degrees Fahrenheit, add one cup or 200 grams of heavy cream. Do be careful so it doesn't boil over. Then reduce the temperature of your caramel to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Add one tablespoon of vanilla and optionally if you have it, add one teaspoon of caramel extract. Give it a final stir and those flakes are from my vanilla bean paste. If you are using vanilla extract, you won't have those flakes. And then as the caramel cools, the color will lighten as you see here. You can store it in a sealed jar for a week in the fridge. And here I'm just trying to show you the texture and consistency. To make salted caramel bars, quite simply, pour into a silicone mold. Add sprinkles of Himalayan salt and they should sink into the bar. Then freeze for an hour. Remove from the freezer, then add more sprinkles of Himalayan salt. And this time the salt should sit on top of the bar. Then freeze it again until you're ready to eat them. And this is what they should look like. So pretty. I hope you get to try this recipe and see if it works for you. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.